Yo, what is up guys? Blake here bringing you some max balance PvP and in today's video I got some juicy matches for you guys just messing around and having fun This is the deck I've been using which has been working really really well for me I think I've showed it in previous videos But I'm trying to show my deck setup more so that if people want to try out my setup They can do that and then all my gear is in it's linked in the description I've got a video with all the schools and the best gear for all of them If you're running kind of a universal generic setup and I will be updating it and making a new video when the changes come out because a lot of things are changing you're gonna see people running Aphrodite ring instead of duelist because the pierce is going away uh, And a bunch of other changes with setup. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. So stay tuned Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video as always peace out guys And never mind. It's a myth. Okay, so myth is a bit tricky especially without ward You guys know I don't rock ward any on any of my characters. So this should be an interesting one But uh, hopefully it goes well, you know We're going against Keller. He looks pretty good I like his gear. He's got 8,500, so he probably has Spooky Robe, but I don't know for sure. Stun Block right now, discard the Surge. I could have probably discarded the Extraordinary, uh, since I've already got a Pop ready enchanted in my, uh, in my hand. Young Thug doesn't slap. Okay, yeah, because... Okay, I'm just gonna burn him right now. He's got 7 pips. I don't really have a better move. I could be digging for, like, Spirit Shields and stuff, I guess, but nah, 7 pips is fine for me to burn, honestly. So we're just gonna send it right now. Let's, let's gauge his, uh, resist as well. A thousand off of seven pips. I'm gonna get spooky robe. That that looks like he has spooky robe, to be honest with you. I can discard that. Let's draw. Nice. That's a great pull. So we got a spirit shield. He's gonna start like blading every single turn because he's a psychopath, you know, typical myth behavior. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna spirit shield right now. This is definitely my best move. Discard both of these things and then just do this. He's just gonna he's gonna be smart about it. He's gonna get his mythic fuels up. He's just gonna keep blading, and then he's gonna force me into into a position where if I triage I lose, and if I don't triage I also lose. So not really looking forward to that. There goes the mythic fuel. Smart man. He's playing well. Can't blame him. Um, I don't think I'm even gonna worry about bubble control. So I'm just gonna discard my bub right now. I might even just pass right now. Straight up, dude. I might want him right now just to get some damage in. Because honestly, I don't really have a better move. Let's see. Oh, we got the Empower. I could do this to get one extra pip. Would that really be worth it? Honestly, I'm not so... I, th I think I'm just going to want him here. It's a bit of a weird move, I know. But it's just... I'd rather pass here. So, this is just getting a free, like, 300 damage or whatever. Yeah, three two uh, free 274 damage. That might actually end up making the difference. I'm not even trolling, dude. So, that, as weird of a move as that looks, it's actually not so bad. So he's gonna blade again here. Oh, he's bubbling actually. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna gaze you, my friend. He's got the aura cast. I like that. I like that a lot, dude. That's a, that's an easy pop right there. We've already got a spirit shield and his pips are low, so I don't really have to care too much about that. Um, I might even just let him keep the bubble, frankly. But yeah, let's just go ahead and pop right here. I want the damage and I want to take away his buff in case he tries to like be weird and like minotaur me or something like that. Either way, this is just good value, right? Two pips. We're doing like 13, 11. That's fine. Just hoping that do a bit more, but that's fine. Uh, we got a bubble too. That's good, I guess, for stalling time. But he's the one that wants to stall time, not me. Like, he, at, at this point forward, he probably wants a couple more blades. But, you know, he's, he's really just saving up his shads. So the more time I give him, the worse it kind of gets for me. But either way, I'm still going to want him right now. Try and pull for a surge so that I can gaze him. But I do have to keep in mind that if I do gaze, that's five pips, right? You know what I mean? That is a pretty big uh, commitment uh, in terms of, like, the total pips that I have to use against him. We pulled a strike, but I don't need that. He's going to blade here, it looks like. I'm definitely mana burning. He has 10 pips, dude. I, I am 1,000 trillion percent mana burning him. So we're going to go ahead and discard the Shrike. I will keep the bubble and everything else, and I'm just going to burn here. 10 pips. This is great damage, great value. I do need to get some more Spirit Shields up, though, ideally. So yeah, we're going to burn him right now. We crit too. Very nice. 1,500 damage. And the Pip Conserve. You love to see it. Love to see it. Got a Death to Spell, Bubble, Triage. Okay. I mean, he's at seven pips, which means he can't King Art Younger combo for like a few turns. He's going to Tower Shield. Yep. Pretty predictable, but he's playing smart. You know what I mean? That is the right move in this situation. Um, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and want it here, right? Yeah, let's just want. No reason for me to force a Mana Burn here through the Tower. Might as well just do this. He can't. He still can't do anything too crazy, so... I have to be careful once he starts getting more pips. We got the Fortify. That's strong. That means if he doesn't strike, I can play pretty aggro right now. So I'm going to use that to my advantage. I think he's just going to keep shielding, honestly. That would be my, my prediction. Like, I think he's just going to tower shield right now. But he should start to get scared because, like, you know what I mean? I have him kind of on his back right now. He, he should be kind of afraid of me. So I'm going to want it again because even if he strikes, I'm not afraid of him. Uh, he's got two of the same blades and they're only 35s. I have a Fortify and a Spirit Shield, which is basically the equivalent of a Set Shield. So I'm just going to keep the pressure, dude. We've already got him down like half his HP. So 
Definitely want to keep the pressure right now while I'm ahead. If he shields again, I will mana burn. We got the gaze, actually. Ooh. Ooh, there goes the... Ooh. I might go for a gaze. I might go for the kill right now, bro. I, I think I might go for the kill. If I gaze right now, do you know how big of a power play that is? Bro, I'm gonna just do this. Yeah. I'm gonna just gaze right now. Because what are you gonna do? Change the bubble? You get mana burn for like 3,000, dude. You know what I mean? This is just good. This is a good move. And I have the pips to do this, too. I break off the shield. I change his bubble, I buff myself, and I still do, like, probably 1,500 damage. Unless it hits mid, in which case it'll do, like, 2,000. Maybe he's warded or something. Let's see. This first head's gonna do, like, uh, 489. Ew, 320? Okay, that's kind of nasty. Hit death. All right, you're definitely not death warded. There's no way. That'd be so toxic. All right, that still did such weak damage, bro. What the hell? Am I missing some piece of gear or something? Why did that do so little? Usually my back end hits do like at least a thousand, bro. What the hell, man? Okay, well we're still in a good spot here. If he tries to strike, yeah, that's fine, dude. You understand? I'm st I'm just gonna mana burn you right now, and then you're dead. I I'm pretty sure if I burn him right now into a ju into a dispel into judge or something, he's dead. Either way, I don't care about the King Artorius. You know what I mean? That's fine with me, dude. So I'm definitely gonna mana burn him right here. Uh, that prevents him from being able to combo as well. Uh, I do. I should pull for a triage, huh? Yeah, let's dig for the triage. I can't stun him, but I can mid the spell. So mana burn here is definitely the first play I want to do. So we do this, right? We send the mana burn, prevent him from comboing. He goes down from 13 to 10 pips, which means he can only snake charmer. He cannot Yaga anymore. That did 2400. I'm pretty sure he's dead to a judgment. I'm serious. Uh, I think he, I can even just steal a pip. Like, let's say he king arts me right now. I'll literally just steal a pip. Yeah, see, he knows he's cooked. Mans knows he's cooked. He's going to blade again, but it doesn't matter. He, you're dead right now, my friend. Oh, and he got the aura too. Oh, man. Yeah, that's that's a GG. That's a GG, homie. There, there's just no way, dude. I could... I'm, I'm trying to think what I should do here. My, my smartest move would be to double shield, for sure. That's definitely the best move. I really do think the judgment might... 250 damage now, there's no way. Yeah, tower shield here is just my best move. Because even if he does king art me, he's dead. I just want to make sure he can't uh, double hit me. I don't die to a minotaur here. There's no way. And uh, I know he doesn't have Orthrus Jewel because I guarantee you he has spooky rub. With the amount of resist he has, he definitely is spooky. So whatever he does here, it doesn't kill me. If he tries to hit right through, it doesn't do enough. Yeah, King Art doesn't kill me. I can literally kill him with a judgment here. Myth is kind of a difficult matchup for balance, but I think we just got really good value all around the board, so. That was nice. I actually got a few crits too for once, so. Damn, that did 840 through the shield, dude. Holy balls. Why did that do so much damage, man? All right, is there any way that a judgment doesn't kill here, right? Is there, is there any way at all? It's impossible, right? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna admit to spell him not to be toxic just because I don't want to waste the judgment TC if I don't have to. So I'm just gonna admit to spell him right now. There's there's no reason for me not to. Yeah, 2600. That's a lot of damage though, actually. But yeah, we're kind of chilling. I feel like balance is pretty decent against myth because you can control their pips and prevent the King Art combo. Myth is probably uh, balance's second worst matchup after Ice, in my opinion. Um... It's just, he kind of played that a bit weird, I'm going to be honest. He didn't play bad. It's just, he could have played that a bit differently to get value. And we, we kind of just punished him. Like, I got really good burn value. We made sure to keep his pips so he couldn't combo. He shriked a bit too late where, like, you know what I mean? He he needed one extra turn. If I had passed one turn, I would have lost that game. Right, cool. We got another match. Let's get it. Hopefully, this will be a fair one. That would be nice, you know? I love fair matches. It's a fire, too. You guys know this is one of my favorite matchups. All right, let's get it. These are always really fun. Good luck, bro. Ooh, ooh. Okay, good luck, bro. I, I really like Balance vs. Fire. I think it's super fun, honestly. So, Jack Fireblood. I'm going to go ahead and enchant that. Discard this. Discard that. Good starting hand. Very, very good starting hand. We've got a stun block. We've got a burn and a pop. Only thing that would make the hand even better is if I'd pull the want it. That's literally, like, anything else is, like, I'm just dreaming, dude. Okay, we got another pop and a gaze. Oh, my. Okay. Wow, dude. That is a uh, pretty nice deck cycling, I'll be honest. So we're just going to go and stun block right now. Get it out of the way. He's probably going to start fueling me every single turn, which is fine. Uh, pull the King Art 2. Okay. I probably don't need to... What the heck is he doing? My man. Spirit Shields? Listen, man, I'm not so sure about that one. I'm going to discard the gaze, though. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need that. I want to keep drawing for now. I might even just empower right now. Nah, that'd be a bit weird, dude. 
Let's just go for a... Uh, let's see what I can draw for. Another tower ship. Let's go for the burn, dude. It's a fire. He's got seven pips. Let's burn. And then I'll steal pip next turn. I need to start getting Ellie shields, though, for sure. But I still don't know, like, what he's doing. Okay, we did a thousand damage. Got an aura cast, too. I think I'm going to discard the other pop. I, I need to be able to cycle my deck. Well, I got to pull that fire to spell. I don't know when I'm a more wand hits and stuff too. Yeah. So let's just be smart about it. He's going to start trap stacking me. And now would be a good turn to steal pip so I can get a new pip for my next mana burn and prevent him from smoring uh, for a, a whole extra turn. And then I need to start drawing for Ellie shields. So let's go ahead and do I want this in power? Uh, it would be nice. But no. I want to steal Pip here, and I want to start pulling for more mana burns. Yeah, let's do this. So let's take a Pip away, let me combo better, and prevent him from comboing. Steal Pip is actually a pretty strong card. It's not, like, insanely busted or anything, but it's quite strong, especially in, like, certain matchups and certain schools. Nice, we got the Fire Dispel. Love to see it. Can I pull an Ellie Shield, though? Nice, nice. You love it. Got another Empower. Okay. Deck is doing pretty nicely. If he Tower Shields, I want it. I want to keep the pressure on him. I don't want to, I don't want to let him get the pressure on me. So at this point in time, I discard this, I discard that, and I want it. Now from main deck, what I'm really trying to dig for is a Solar Surge for the King Artorias. And then just more mana burns. That's about it. Rest of the game is going to be uh, played off side deck mostly. So yeah, we're in a good spot though. He's only got one set of traps and they're not even that strong. Uh, I've already got blocks so I can discard. He failed pip too. Nice. Nice, dude. Yeah, he's fueling me again. Smart. He's got 235s. So a beetle here could hurt quite a bit. But I am going to shield here. That is definitely my best move, right? Yeah, he's got some strong buffs, though. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, Ellie's shield right now is uh, my move. So I do this, yeah. If he beetles it off, that's really good pressure. But I could theoretically just Ellie shield again. You know what I mean? And I have a ton of pips, so I can kind of just mana burn him down. Which is definitely what I'm going to do at some point if I can start getting some better pulls. Pulled another Ellie shield. You love to see. Oh, my hand is looking beautiful, dude. Is he just going to fuel again? He is. Okay, this guy's a bit wild. All right, I'm going to just Ellie shield again. Because if he shatters, he dumps all his pips. Which, like, I'm totally fine with, you know? I mean, what if I mana burn him right now? Is that really so bad? I'd rather mana burn him into a shield. And yeah, I'll do this. I'd rather do this, dude. Let's just go for another Ellie shield. That's fine. If he wants to shatter and, and dump literally all of his pips, then I can just go to town. I can literally just, like, king art him right now. So I'm going to go for the double shields. Just in case he tries to do something, you know, crazy. Got another burn. Love to see it. Should we draw again from side? Nah, because I've already got another Ellie shield. I'm in a good spot here. He's got a tower shield. Yep, there goes the tower. I'm going to mana burn right through since I'm at max pips. If I wasn't at max pips, I'd just want it. But, like, I might as well burn, right? Um, break off a shield, still do a few hundred damage. And more importantly, get the value of controlling his pips, which is what I really care about. So this is really strong. Still did 400, you know what I mean? Mana burn is just such a strong card. He's going to keep shielding. Now I want to start, like, wand hitting him and stuff. That is what I'm going to do. So he's going to shield here. I'm going to want it. Now a gaze would be nice. I kind of discarded a lot of my gazes, but I can still do good damage to him. He's going to beetle. Smart man. Smart man. He's actually playing this really well. I'm going to keep it real. But I am going to go ahead and Ellie shield right now. Because I'd still get another shield after that. He'd still be forced to shatter me. That is doing a ton of damage though. Holy crap. Okay. So yeah, now I just Ellie shield again, protect him from being able to pierce it, and I've still got two shields. He does not have the pips to shatter me either. I have one more Ellie shield in my deck, I need to be mindful of that. The only way he can take off my shields now is either by hitting, or by, uh, shattering. So he's gonna tower shield, I want it. If he tower shields again, I mana burn. Wow, he's not even doing that, interesting. Is he just gonna start sharking? Is he just gonna give up his trap? He's fueling again! Dude, this guy's nuts! Bro, this guy's a psycho. How many traps do you need? Yo, I'm actually scared. He's about to just cook me. Dude, I, I'm actually like, I, I fear for my life, dude. This guy's about to cook me. Okay, well, um, do I have another mock in my deck? I'm scared to discard, but at the same time, let's not discard. I, I think I'm running low on cards a bit. Not, not a bad thing, but like, I want to be mindful of that. I think a pop here is just a good idea. Get damage in, reset his aura, you know? Yeah, look at that, 1250, beautiful damage, dude. Beautiful damage. Got another burn, love to see it. He's gonna tower shield here, I'll want it. He might go for a shatter play, though. He might actually try to go for a shatter play, um, which would be quite smart of him. But that's okay still, I'm okay with dealing with that. And I think I am gonna delete that mock and spiel now, because I think I know what he's gonna try to do. If he tries to strike right now, that's fine with me, dude. I'll just tower shield. Uh, he could shatter into, ooh. He could actually do some... No, no, no. He can't do anything. He's kind of cooked. 
He might shatter right now, though. Nope, he's not. Don't tell me you fuel again. Uh, hello? I know you have, like, five traps, but this still isn't a good idea, right? I mean, maybe if he sharks right after. Wait, this guy might be onto something. Hold on, what if I... Dude, what if he has so many traps that, like, I, this just cooks me through a shield? But I have 62 res. Like, I know you have five buffs, but still, that's a shield, right? Bro, please tell me I didn't, like, dude, what if this does, like, 8,000 and I just die? Did this guy just vengeful me? Okay, yeah, that didn't do that much at all. That really didn't do much at all. So now the question is, how do I want to combo this? A Scorch does not kill me, right? One, two. I still have a Fire Shield. So I think I'm just going to gaze right now to get the damage, dude. I want to get the damage and buff myself. He still can't really do anything to me. So if he does hit one of the shields, that'd be a bit unfortunate. But, you know, I'll take you, man. That's fine. That And I still have a shield under this, guys. Keep in mind, I literally have a shield. I have, I have another shield up right now. And that he can't pierce off either. So that FFA was not a smart move. If he had infowl, maybe it would have been decent if I didn't have another shield. But he didn't have infowl and I had two shields, you know? So, I'm literally, I'm just doing this for the damage. Mock and would have been nice, but, like, you know what I mean? I'd rather play it safe, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hit the myth shield. That's fine. Like I said, keeping that Mock and Shield would, in hindsight would have been nice. But, like, if he had played this differently, I that could have been bad if I had kept it in my hand. Now, I'm pretty much smooth sailing. I don't think there's any way he can beat me. Even if he tries to start, like, Tower Shield spamming. There's just no way, dude. There's just no way, you know what I mean? There's nothing he can do at this point. He's kind of... I'm going to make sure he doesn't have the pips to shad me. You know what I mean? He's got to have at least four pips to shad. I mean, I guess a Zillow could kill theoretically. What is this? Is he just going to pierce? He's actually piercing? Okay. He just got another aura cast. All right. I think I'm just going to mana burn him right now, dude. Yeah, I think I'm just going to burn him right now, dude. I, I don't really have any other move that I'd want to do anyway. I, I wish I had a pop, but I don't. So, yeah. But this is where things get a bit stressful, actually. He could still win this. I'm thinking about it. He could actually still win this. But I'm definitely going to burn him here. 700 damage off of two pips because I bubble. Got the fortify as well. Yeah, we're kind of chilling, dude. Even if he tries to go for some weird strike play to counter me. Like, we're still in a good spot, you know? Put an enchant for the art. Love to see it. He's going to tower shield. I'll want it. Uh, I'm trying to think, dude. If he pierces me again, which shield does it take off? He might be stream sniping. He knows that you only got one Ellie shield. Nah, he's not stream sniping. Mans is not stream sniping, dude. He's playing very interesting, though. And he, he could definitely still win this if I misplay. So I have to be very smart about how I deal with this. I can't just, you know what I mean? I gotta play smart right now. Uh, we did get an enchant. I mean, we didn't get an enchant for that. But I do have an enchant for the King Artorius. So that's good. Let's say he shields again right now. I need to pop him, right? Yeah, I need to pop him. Because if he tries to strike, then I'm going to need to burn him. Let's see, dude. He can actually 100% still win this, seriously. He can totally, totally, totally still win this. Dude, I might be cooked, honestly. I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to think about it, dude. I might actually be cooked. If I fizzle this pop, how screwed am I scale 1 to 10? I don't know, dude. I might actually use, man. Why are you guys all saying Blake, dude? Okay, so we powered the pop. That's good stuff. Bro, that s'more will do so much damage. I have a shield. I have a shield, man. His s'more is not going to kill me. I have a fortify and a shield. So his best move would probably be to strike right now, right? No, he's not even striking. Dude, you needed to strike. Dude, it's too late to change the bubble, my man. He needed to strike there. Yeah, you had a strike, dude. Wait a second, dude. He can still win this. Nah, he can actually still win this, dude. I think I might have misplayed. Uh, I'm gonna King Artorius here. Because the reason why I'm doing this is because it's gonna do a lot of damage to the point where I can shield into a judge and kill. That's basically what I'm trying to do here. I, I want to put him in a position where he has to break off the shield. He can't pierce it. And then if he tried to strike, I would still have a shield and the debuff on him. Yeah, it did 2,000. So that's decent damage. Plus, I got a pierce blade. Four pip judge doesn't kill without a bubble. I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. If he strikes right now, I have enough shields to be okay. I just need a double shield. That's all I got to do. I just need a tower shield into the four pip AOE. Or, or dispel into like, I don't even know, man. Would a pop even kill? No, a pop actually would not kill. So I need a tower shield here, right? Yeah. I need the four pip AOE or a judge or I lose, right? I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, I'm not going to try to kill him to backlash. So I'm going to tower shield here to try to pull for the 4-pip AoE. He does not kill me right now. I, th I think a 4-pip judge is enough to kill. It's like 500 base damage plus the pierce blade. I'm like 90% sure. Nice. We got the 4-pip. We're good. That's GG's. Nothing he does here kill me. So that King Art was a bit of a weird move, but I knew it was my best move. Uh, because it just put him in a position where he couldn't pierce and then kill me by striking. You know what I mean? That's, that's essentially what I was trying to do. And I needed to get some damage on him. So, yeah. I think we play that pretty well. He played this in a very strange way that, like, threw me off guard. He just wasted all his traps, too. Did 900. You see what I mean, though? I had two shields, a fortify, and a 45 weakness. And this man still did 1,000 damage. So, that King Art was the right move. If I didn't have the King Art and he just smored right through, I might have even died. But, yeah, that's a GG. I can't fizzle. This does more than a judgment. Would I have pulled the judgment? I would have been able to discard one more time, so we'll never know. But yeah, that's Jeech. He, he does not tank this. I pierce through everything. I have 130 damage, so even if it does low end and he has fat resist and I don't crit, he is cooked, dude. That was a fun game, dude. I, I, I love playing It's Fire on my balance. And I think he actually played pretty well. How did that not pierce through all his res? What? I have 40 base pierce and I have a 10 pierce blade. That's actually really strange. What? You guys are being mental, but I'd love to see it, dude.